Hi everyone, here in this we have a nice exponential equation where we have to find the value of x and y. x raised to y equals y raised to x. So now here we're going to let y is equal to kx where k is a constant. So what are we going to do? where k is a constant. So, let's substitute this thing. So, we have x to the power of y. So, in place of y, we're going to put kx is equal to, in place of y, we're going to put kx whole to the power of x as we have it here. Now, let's take square root on both sides. So, we have x to the power of kx is equal to kx whole to the power of x now square root on both sides so now when we take square root on both sides we have x to the power of kx whole to the power of now this can be written as 1 over 2 square root can be written as 1 over 2 here this converted into kx whole to the power of x over 1 over 2. Now in this we are going to use this law a to the power of m whole to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m n. The power to power gets multiplied whenever you have that. a to the power of n whole to the power of m you can even write it like this. So we are going to apply this. Here we have x to the power of kx over 2 which is equal to kx over x over 2 we just multiply the powers now what do we get x to the power of k I can write it like this whole to the power of x over 2 and here also kx whole to the power of I only have x over 2 here so now when I want to eliminate this power, I'll just multiply both sides by 2 over x times 2 over x. So I can cancel it out 2, 2, x, x and here also the same thing. Then we, uh, then we are left with x to the power of k is equal to kx. Now we have an x here. Let's find out x in terms of k. So I need to eliminate this x from here. So divide both sides by x. To eliminate this x, here I'm going to apply this law. a to the power of m over a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Whenever you have same base and this division between them, you subtract the powers. So here I have same bases, there's division between them. Let me subtract the powers. The power here is 1. So we have x to the power of k minus 1 is equal to k. Now what I'm going to do is just multiply both sides this is k minus 1 so now what I'm going to do is just multiply both sides by 1 over k minus 1 and here also then we have to put 1 over k minus 1 so here k minus 1 k minus 1 gets cancelled so you're left with x is equal to k to the power of 1 over k minus 1 so we got the value of x in terms of k then y is equal to kx so y is equal to we've got what is x let's substitute k times x is k to the power of 1 over k minus 1 so k to the power of 1 over k minus 1 we have same base and there's multiplication between them so we have to add the powers so y is equal to k to the power of 1 plus 1 over k minus 1 as this is a fraction y is equal to k to the power of k minus 1 plus 1 over k minus 1 when you take the LCM. minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled so you just left with y is equal to k to the power of k over k minus 1 so this is the value of y which you get and k here is a constant. 
So we have x and y in terms of k. So we can substitute a value for k. For example, if we take if k is equal to 3, we know what is x. x is equal to k to the power of 1 over k minus 1. So we're going to substitute 3 in place of this. So we have x is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1, which is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 2. So x is equal to square root of 3. Now what about y? Let's find out y. y is equal to what we got y from here as k to the power of k over k minus 1. So we need to write that y is equal to k to the power of k over k minus 1. Now let's substitute 3 in that. So we get 3 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 1 which is equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 2. And the first is the power and this is the root. So we need to convert it back. So y is equal to square root of 3 whole to the power of 3. So this is the value of y. Now if we want to check the x and y values, x is root 3, y is square root of 3 whole to the power of 3. So if we want to check if the values are right or not, we want to substitute in the main equation x to the power of y is equal to y to the power of x. So what do we get? Here what is, a, what is the value of x and y? x is equal to root 3 as we've got here. x is equal to root 3 and y is equal to square root of 3 whole to the power of 3. So we're going to substitute that to verify our answer. So what do we get? So we're going to put x as root 3. Root 3 whole to the power of y is root 3 root 3 whole to the power of 3 which is equal to now what is y root 3 whole to the power of 3 over uh, x and x is root 3 so I have whole to the power of root 3 we have root 3 over this root 3 can be written as square root so root always goes into the denominator so we have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 and this is times 3 which is equal to square root of 3 over you have 3 and this power to power you can multiply the powers and square root of 3 root always goes to the denominator so you have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 now you have same basis here and there's multiplication so you can add the powers so here what are we going to get is for this one square root of 3 whole to the power of 3 to the power of 3 over 2 you multiply the powers here 3 times 1 over 2 and here square root of 3 whole to the power of 3 and this is you have added the powers 1 plus 1 over 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2 so you get the same thing so you get LHS is equal to RHS hence proved therefore proved so this is the value of uh, X and Y are true in terms of K thank you for watching bye bye take care